Now, I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy a really good exploration game, especially when there is a vast area in which I can explore. And also being quite a fan of astronomy myself, when I saw Mars 2030 available for download on Steam, it really tickled my horse twat. Welcome aboard Ship Shape in Bristol fashion. This is Falcor here, and this is Mars 2030, a game produced and published by FMG Labs, which stands for Fusion Media Group. It boasts itself as a 40 square kilometer open Martian terrain exploration and story driven game. Apparently, the game is accurately mapped and modeled using NASA's Orbiter High Rise satellite data. <coughs> I know what you're thinking, it all sounds too good to be true. Well, you'd be right. It really is too good to be true. Let me explain. So the game begins with you orbiting the red planet. Although these days it's not red, it's kind of a yellowish colour. I don't know how NASA got that mixed up, but still, we'll move on. You are prompted to press the detach button, whilst completely ignoring the thousands of other buttons that are around it. Ah yes, let's make the user feel like a complete idiot by giving him a big flashy button that he has to press in the centre of the screen, where everything's done automatically and he doesn't need to worry. Let's not forget that these astronauts have probably had six years of intensive training, just so they can press this button. Once the button is pressed, you begin your decline, or should I say deorbit, into the Mars atmosphere. And you get to hear amazing informational input from this guy. Check out the clouds. Carbon dioxide, ice. Oh, thank you very much for that bit of information, sir. We're just a bunch of astronauts that have been studying this planet for 10 years. We didn't even know the clouds were made from frozen carbon dioxide. Do not talk again! You are pissing me off! And then you are greeted with what is actually a very nice, visually stunning and immersive interpretation of flying into the planet's atmosphere. This is probably the finest point of the entire game, but still, I was quite impressed by it. And then suddenly there she is, the Martian surface. And then this happens. 400, 300, 200, Landing sequence complete. You just all died, you were declining at 100 meters per second and it didn't even make a thud on the floor! This is designed by NASA! Why is this shit plausible? I'm so pissed off! So once you have finished your exploits in hacking gravity, you actually find yourself on the surface in your spacesuit. Oh, and guess what? It's absolutely brilliant because I think they've possibly hired the worst voice actors I've ever heard in any game. Nevu, it's unbelievable. Nevu, it's unbelievable. And then you get to do some really good next-gen gaming mechanics, like picking up a rock, or a flag! Yay! And then you actually get to do something slightly amusing, which is driving the rover. Which was actually quite a lot of fun, uh, apart from the very strange controls that meant that when you go left and right you're actually strafing, but I managed to get the hang of it eventually. Um, eventually. And then you find your habitat, and this is where the game I thought would really open up, but apparently it doesn't. It just says this. So... Okay. Shit. But let's not forget that this is in fact an exploration game. That's what I told myself as I climbed inside my rover and took myself on a Martian journey. A Martian journey across the vast 40 kilometer landscape that was promised to me. Oh, what is this I see in yonder? Is it a crater? My, this crater looks familiar. Oh yes, it's the crater in which previous NASA missions have been held where the famous rovers landed back in the day. I decide to get out of the pod and breathe in that Martian atmosphere and look across the wonderful landscape and the old technology that my old earthbound fellows brought upon this Martian landscape. So I decide to eject from my rover and then this happens. Are you fucking kidding me? When you eject from your rover, it sends you back to the place you originally spawned from! I've just spent 25 minutes traversing the Martian landscape just to be ejected back here! What is the point in having the rover if you can't go long distances? What the fuck?! Oh, so by this point you could probably tell that I've pretty much given up on the game. 
So I went inside a cave and had a look around. I mean, hey, the visuals are nice and everything. But guys, to be totally honest, if you want to have the full Martian experience, I suggest going to Google Mars. You actually get a real life interpretation of what the Martian landscape looks like, and you don't have to listen to this fucking guy. It's unbelievable. I award this game zero points, and may God have mercy on your soul. This has been Mars 2030, and I have been Falcor. Ugh. I need a Pepto-Bismol and a counsellor from Childline. I like the games. You like the games. If you really like, subscribe. <sighs> Look at those beautiful little videos. I bet you really want to click one of those, don't you, you dirty little monkey? How about helping an old chap out and pressing that like button on the bottom of the screen? I bet you also want to click that little subscribe button, don't you? Go on. Ring my ding-a-ling.